Hachimon. Oh! Summoned from the mystic circle of red and white roses, the one capable of... Harrison pure power. See, when I read out loud, I sound retarded and I flub up my words, but if I read my mind, I'm a lot better. There was... There was truth to the legend of the Rose Duelists. Lady Margaret, I, I did it. Now we have the means of defeating the evil forces, the Rosen Crutes. Crutes? Crutes? The Rose. Oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I forgot I was in the presence of the Rose Duelists. Let me to introduce myself. I'm Shimon McMoron. McMoron. I guess. Hi, Druid and Servant of Lancaster. Druid, huh? Uh. You know, covered in animal foes and. One with nature and all that. I know, not that type of druid. I play DD. Sue me. May I be so bold to ask the name by which the Rose Duelist would like to be known by? <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. There's a little cheat to this. Each, no each letter is a different number um, in a, um, a digital code, and each number represents that number. Now, and now, if you want a certain deck, you would type in the deck's code with the numbers. Or if you want to, uh, if you know, like, A might, I forgot, like, A I think is like, um, 3 or something like that. Or type in the name of the deck that you want, it would generate that. Um... One is like, um, if you type in like Konami, you should start off with like, I think a deck with a Dark Magician Girl or something, but we're not doing that. Um, we're just gonna put in our name, well, my name. You ain't doing nothing, I'm doing everything. Rob. A fine name indeed, yeah. Now, here's the situation. The year is 1485, and you are currently in Stonehenge, near Salis... I want to say Salisbury, but I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Salisbury... Salisbury Stark! <clears throat> Salisbury... Barry, whatever, England. The British Empire <laughs> is in turmoil. With the House of Land rightful claim, claim to the throne being challenged by the York. Up. Oh wow, my brain. Um, you spirits? Wow, my brain blanked. The <laughs> battle struggle is referred to as the War of the Roses. The name based the name on the
operations of the deck leader. Yeah, not going. <laughs> the minutes visit that ring. True to your soul. I caught the turtles draw their power from the energies of the ancient ones. The deck leader acts as an medium. I'm just gonna say medium. Because my brain just went cluh. Between the ancient ones and the deck world. Uh, but it is essential that you select a deck leader whose rhythm matches. Uh, pretty much all he's saying is pick whichever deck leader you like. It pretty much comes down to which one's your favorite. Here are several decks which you can choose and select. And choose carefully for the deck you select will guard the destiny of your door. Okay. We got Luminous Knight, which looks like uh, Warriors, Fairies, Spellcasters, and something else. It's light, earth, and water, it looks like. Then we have Earthface, which is Wind, Dark, Light, and Earth, and its main thing is is winged beasts, fairies, dragons, and no, reptiles and beasts. And then we got Tactical Warrior? Could have sworn you were something else in real life. Uh, it's Warriors, and the main is Earth, Dark, and Light. <sighs> I didn't get the deck I wanted. Fuck it. Uh, I see you selected your deck. Oh, sorry. It looks like there's some truth to the rumor that that red rose cards are capable of time travel, time transformation. Transformation. Um. Okay. Um. I'm. It's long. It's a long intro. I'm gonna cut it off here.